last April I went to America and when I was there I actually didn't try that much American food. I just tried food that they kind of had in English as well. So we thought let's try some American candy and food. Hit the food! First thing, I bought some Hershey Kisses because what's better than a kiss from Hershey? Everyone wants a kiss under the mistletoe on Christmas. This will be me having my kiss under the mistletoe. Even oh. though they don't taste good, they're just cute. It's chocolate. Chocolate's chocolate. It's not amazing chocolate though. It's chocolate. So I want to wash that down, so we're going to have some root beer. I've had the sweet version of root beer. Like, yeah, the um, Wonka, Wonka thingies, but I've never actually had root beer. It looks like it's going to dye your teeth majorly. And then added something that they put found in the chemist. I actually really like it. My tongue's tingling. What from the drink? Yeah. Are I you know. allergic to it? I don't know. If that's, is that a bad sign? My tongue is tingling. Buffalo and blue cheese flavor crisps. Now I don't know if these are typically American, but they were in the American food shop. Okay. Smell those. What? The I think you're meant to make them, like you're meant to melt the marshmallow itself yeah. and put it in a wafer, but we just bought a ready-made one because we're lazy. Oh. Mm. I don't feel like this is what s'mores actually is. No, because the marshmallow tastes really fake. I'd imagine the chocolate would be melted. Yeah. No. You know one thing I remember from American food is we got Cap'n Crunch. Peanut butter cap and crunch! First it's candy, then it's gum! That was a really good American accent, wasn't it? They look a bit like drunk Lego bricks. That's, that's the impression I'm getting. Okay. It's like an explosion in your mouth. Of flavours. Are you sure it's gum? Mm-hmm. strong gum here. Okay, so take five. Chocolate, I, pretzels, peanut butter, caramel and peanuts. I feel like I'm gonna like it though because I love peanut butter. Okay. Okay, you ready? Oh my god. That's very really good. It's the saltiness with the caramel and the chocolate. Why America have you been keeping this a secret? Why? We got that laffy taffy, la la laffy taffy, we got that laffy taffy, la la laffy. Where's the cat afraid of the tree? Because they don't like being up high. Because he was afraid of the bark! Cats are afraid of a dog's bark, also afraid of the bark on a tree. Hey! I seriously not, it's not coagulating or whatever in my brain. Salt water taffy remind me of friends. See, yeah. I always thought I'd love taffy because I love laffy taffy, but if that's going to be the colour, I'm not really sure I'm going to like it. Yes, get in my mouth. I was expecting them to be fruity. Were you not? No. The Simpsons did an advert like, <laughs> don't you touch my butterfinger. I'm going to jump out of a plane for these. So if Homer's going to jump out of a plane, 
They must be good. They must be good. Because if Homer Simpson does it, then you should do it too. It's not a good rule <laughs> to live by. <laughs> Nestle, yes. Yes, Homer Simpson. I wasn't meant to be wearing this jumper, I'm sorry for re-wearing clothes. I have a washing machine though, so it's all good. Our tasting session has come to an end. And that was a really fun tasting session. Um, so I'm just finishing off in American accent. Is it is it good or is it bad? I actually thought it was really good. Thanks. That's all right. So, if you watch this and you really enjoyed it and you can think of any other food that we should try from any other different countries, then please comment down below. Make sure you like this video up, guys. Subscribe because we love you. And America, please adopt me. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bro oh, my oh, my God. God. Mr. Burnham. Bo, 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 why are we holding different things? <laughs>